Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video. So in this video we will learn about shell scripting. We will uh, learn about the basic of how to write the bash scripts in Linux. Okay, so let's get started. So this is our agenda. We will learn about the bash scripts. So what's the difference between shell and bash? What is bash src or the bash profile? And uh, who are the user and who are root users? And what is the bash script? How to identify bash script? What is called the shebang of how to find the path to the bash shell? And how to create bash script? And providing how to provide the execution rights? And finally, running the scripts. So, what is shell and bash? The Linux command line is provided by a program called shell. And there can be various categories or there is various different types of shells. So bash is one of them, which is called born again shell. That's the short form of the bash. Basically, this is the default shell configured in your system. So what is bash src and bash profile? So bash src and bash profile both are a configuration file which is used to customize the behavior of the shell. Okay. When we will learn about in which scenario we will use what. So if you see the bash src is mostly on a current window uh, it is executed each time you open a new window or in a new terminal window it to the bash src will take effect immediately and it is used to customize shell environment for each terminal window okay whereas the bash profile it is executed only once the time you logged in the changes made to the bash profile will take effect only when you log out and log in back to and the bash profile is used to basically and the bash profile is basically used to set the environment variables that are needed for entire session so you can make out like bash src is for one window whereas the bash profile changes will take the effect for the entire session there are more uh, the changes made to bash src like i told it will affect the only the current window but changes made to bash profile will affect the all the terminal windows open okay the use of bash src is to set the aliases and define functions so you can see is the example over here for setting the alias you can just write the command alias ll as a substitute for ls hyphen l so uh, it is basically used for this reason whereas uh, uh, like i told you, the bash profile is basically used for setting of the path which will be available throughout the session let's moving on so what is the difference between dollar and hash so when you see in your command line so a dollar which is waiting in your command prompt so this means that you have logged in as a user but when you see as a hash prompted in your command line this means that you have logged in as your root user the super user will prompt you like this now what is bash script and its file extension so bash script is also a file where you write a series of commands okay and it is read by your bash program line by line sequentially and the file extension usually it's uh, the common practice is using dot sh extension but it can also run without it perfectly fine now what is shebang so our uh, bash script uses uh, our bash script starts with a shebang so this is what it is see uh, what we call as a shebang shebang is a combination of your hashtag and the summation mark and followed by your shell path so your bash shell path is this in my system so this is called a shebang our script starts with this shebang shebang tells you uh, shebang tells the shell to execute it via bash shell it is an absolute path to the bash interpreter so path to bash shell so this is the command which gives you the path to your bash so if you open a command prompt and if you type this command which bash it will give you the path of your bash moving on so uh, so now we reached here and we will create a small file called hello world.sh so this will be your bash script and we will write our first bash script so what we can do we can create a file uh, so for creating a file you can use touch or you can use any other way so i'm using touch hello world dot sh so my file is created now i'll go inside this hello world.sh 
so i'll press the i key for insertion so i'll just type this command as a hash i'll i'll add the shebang and my path which is user bin hash and i'll type one command echo hello world echo is basically used to print something so you can use click i'll just type hello little now i'll press the escape button so it got skipped now i'll press colon w q this means write this into the file and quit okay so i see my bash path is actually bin bash i just correct it so i have to remove this user okay so now my file is ready now so before running this file we need to give the execution right so how do we check that currently if you check the execution right of your file so if i do ls this is my file if you see uh, if you will do ls slide l so you will be able to see you have read write access so your r is for read and W is for write. But you don't have the execution privilege. So if you would have the execution privilege, it would be showing X over here. So now if you use this command, chmod, it is basically used to change the rights of your file. So you can use for this user. So if you write W plus X. So you are adding the execution rights for this user for the file hello world sh. So now if you do this help, so you will be able to see x is added over here. So now you have the execution right. Now you can uh, run your script. Okay. Now this is the way, these are the way to run the script. You can do colon forward slash and hello world. This is one of the way. So now hello world is printed, right? Or you can do bash hello world dot sh so these are the two ways okay. uh, that's it for this video hope you like it if you have any questions you can write down in the comments thank you